Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today we're going to do a natural light black background barn photo shoot with a horse. So if you haven't already, it's probably worthwhile you guys watching the uh, Equine Photography 101 video, which will introduce you to this horse that we're working with today. We're gonna use Vera, who uh, we'll go over to in just a second. Uh, but first of all, I just wanna introduce the halter that we're using. This is not a sponsored promotion or anything like that. I get no money from this. Um, but this is the photo halter by Emma MRL, which works really well with uh, shoots like this because you can remove it off the horse super easily. So what we'll do is we will get Vera and and we will head over to the shed that we're gonna to use to shoot this shot. Did you just wanna eat your nom noms? Yes. Here you go. Okay, so we're using the photo halter with Vera. Um, Dan's gonna hold Vera because coronavirus, we can't have any spare people. So we'll put this camera on a tripod when we move through the next step. So at the moment we've got cloudy sky. It's quite dull actually. I was hoping it would be a little bit brighter because that would give us additional contrast. We can use this shed in the doorway behind us at the moment to do this shot. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna show you guys, if Dan stays exactly where he is now, I'll show you where to position a horse in this kind of a shot. So unless you're shooting on a super sunny day, you wouldn't put your horse this far into the shed because it's just too dark. You'll just have to expose for the light in the shed and therefore you won't get any black backgrounds. If we bring Vera out slightly to the point where the shed doorway is, ooh, we can now expose for the front of her head, which is in the sun, in the light area, and the background will drop to black. If there's not enough difference there and you've got a bit of brighter area further ahead, it is worthwhile just bringing your horse out slightly. Ooh. But from here, you lose the kind of soft vignetting that happens naturally around the back end of the horse. As you can see, Vera wants to go and look at all of her friends, which is absolutely fine. Um, but this halter is actually quite good for strong horses. Like you. Yes. Let's move on to settings. Okay, we've asked Dan to just put Vera on the edge there. And what we can see through the viewfinder, essentially, if we switch over onto a histogram view, is we can see a big spike on black. That is technically the background there. So at the moment, my settings are fine. They're slightly dark, she is slightly dark, but in the interest of wanting to prevent any of the background being visible, we just need to do what we need to do. Now, if we wanted to have more light on her, you could drop your aperture, or drop your shutter speed, either or, but can you see the details coming through in the background now? And that big spike is moved off of black. Ideally, you wanna try and keep that spike on black if you can. What we need to work on with our settings basically is making sure that we've got no camera shake. So one one four hundredth of a second is fine. If you've got a horse that's moving around a lot, then you can push that up a little bit, increase the ISO to compensate, but this is absolutely fine. If you look at how dark she's gone now that she's in there, you can see why we have them right at the point where dark becomes light. I'd like her, so the easy, one of the easiest ways to do it is to kind of like bring her around so that she's sort of on this angle, yeah. like here, and then we're gonna get her attention looking that way. She needs her hindquarters round a bit more. Yeah, uh, yeah that'll do. How about friend? When she moves ahead, it'll go again, but we just need it all that way, okay? Yeah, yeah. just leave it on the outside. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Where's the hat? Like app. Oh. Dan, move your hand. You're in you're in the line. That is beautiful. Can you see it? Can you see that? See, so pretty. So guys, that's pretty much how you do one of these natural light black background shots. If you're wondering how to edit it, just go ahead and look at the video, which I'll link above and below in the description box, which will show you exactly how I would personally edit these shots. I'll show you some of them on the screen right now, and I'll see you all again really, really, really soon. Yes, yes, we will. <laughs>